Welcome back all you PokeTubers. I am here with more pack openings. Um, as you see in front of me is um, a Sun and Moon base box. Now I have went ahead and opened some packs that were in there. Um, I have about 20 packs left um, out of this um, Sun and Moon base um, box that I would like to actually open up for you guys. Um, now I did get some good pulls out of it already, but not a lot. Um, now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna go ahead and take out all the cards that I had already opened. And just stick them right here. And sorry if my light keeps going in and out. One of my light bulbs is actually going out. So, like I said, I have about 20 packs left out of this um, box to open up for you guys. And I do hope you enjoy um, seeing what I actually get out of here. Um, I actually went to a the Pokemon pre-release tournament today, which, you know, I came in fifth place um, out of 16. So I did pretty good. Um, and my husband actually came in fourth place and he only lost once, um, which is pretty cool. Um, sorry, I heard a noise and sounded really funny, um, but I'm going to keep going. Um, but like I said, I have about 20 packs here to open up for you guys. I hope you enjoy. Um, if you do leave a like, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, for more Pokemon content. Now, I'm not able to do this, you know, every day because I don't have the money to put into it as of right now to do this every day. But I will upload, you know, as many videos as I can, um, when I can. Um, now, as for the code cards, I will be keeping the code cards because I do play online. Um, so, uh, for those who ask for them, I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and say no because I like to play online. So, these code cards are mine. Um, now, for the trick for these packs, I went ahead and started opening it, it is uh, four and two. One, two, three, four. And I always put the I started putting the um, energy at the front and then two. So there is the energy. Evie. So duck. Sparrow. Teeny, Cutify, Rotunda, Pukumuko, well, I can get ahead of myself, Great Ball, uh, Bone Sweep, and Brooks. And here we go. It's for the second pack. I'll do that so I know where it is. Shelter. Makihita. Pharaoh. Gurban. Father.
carrot bug. And pound sand. So far, nothing good. But okay, we got 18 more packs to go. And I'm just going to make an egg dry on this mess. Is worth a shot. So let's see. Grimer and Gatlin. So um, for those who are actually watching and who is actually going to stick around for the entire video, um, leave a comment down below and actually tell me um, what you guys think of the new Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. If you think it's going to be good, if you think it's going to be bad, um, what your opinions on it, um, if you're going to get it just because it's Pokemon related or just what have you. Um, just tell me what you think. Personally, I didn't like Sun and Moon game-wise. Um, but as of, you know, the game, it just didn't seem good to me. So, Ultra Moon, uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon doesn't seem like it's going to be very good either. Um, I don't think it's going to have a storyline, which is bad within itself because storyline is you know I think should be part of the game. Kabago and ooh Dragonite Hog. I don't know if you guys can see that but that's pretty cool. There's the energy again. Um I know um I didn't even, I personally didn't even finish Sun and Moon just because I didn't think it was that great. Um, now I'll go and attempt to play Sun and Moon myself, uh, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, just to start playing it. And if I don't like it, I most likely won't finish it again, just because I think it's not going to be good. Um... Also, tell me if you guys played in the pre-release for the new um, set that's supposed to be coming out. Um, and if any of you got the new, I think it's Executor card, which had a funny um, um, what you might call it attack. To it. I can't remember the name of the attack, but it, you know, I remember it was kind of funny when my husband told me about it. Um, I was like, I think it's like Hawaiian head or something like that, or a lowland head or something like that. It was like 70 damage or something close to it. I don't remember completely, so don't quote me on it, but it was pretty funny. Rare candy and... Ooh, Leprous GX, and of course I do not have any uh, sleeves with me, but awesome, I'm just going to lay that right there, off to the side so it doesn't get messed up, but that's pretty cool. Um, when I first opened the first few packs of this um, Sun and Moon box, I ended up getting like one Hollow and two GX cards, one of them was a think a Taurus if I remember correctly um, and that's actually in another box all together so I wouldn't mess mess it up um, but that's pretty cool uh, lap, this is a lap, this is again Lapras um, if 
you guys want to pause the video and actually look at the um, attacks um, if you don't know what the attacks are um, but I think that's pretty cool And again, sorry for the bad lighting and the bad camera angle. I'm in a different position, so I don't have, you know, the best of lighting where I'm at. Um, but I do hope you guys still enjoy this video, just to see if I pull any good cards. And so far, the Lapras that is right there is the only good card that I've pulled so far. Um, tell Also, tell me which um, card that you guys like out of these pools that you're seeing if it's the Lapras GX if it's for some reason if it's this little bitty Paris that is adorable um you know just tell me which card you like and why or if it's this random team skull grunt trying to card just yeah there you go and then pretty little kitty and then it's my turn um but yeah, if it or if it's just one of the random energy cards, could be your favorite. Yeah, to each or to each his own. Um, and I am making a ginormous mess off to the side just because. One, two, three. And two. And then we'll start out with Psychic Card. And then we got Ginger, Marl, Skarmory, Caterpie, Sandy Gas, Hypno, Switch, Poopamooka, Pal, which was the rare, and then Glove. Now I know I'm not talking a lot, which is fine. I know most people don't like my voice, so it's okay. Most of you guys probably didn't come to listen to me talk. You probably just come to see if I get good or bad pulls. Um, so that is, if you want me to get bad pulls, then yeah, that's up to you. If you want me to get good pulls. Yeah, keep cheering me on. It looks like I got quite a number of packs still to go. Um, and like I said at the beginning, I had 20 packs left in this box that I wanted to show off to you guys to see if I got any good pulls. Um, and it looks like I'm down to 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 more packs to go out of the 20, so... A little over or a little under halfway through what I have. And start out with another metal energy. And bear. Grabbing Sparrow, Grimer, Rally, Potion, Trumbic, Goldback, Elima, Alima. Oh, Lataris GX. I think that's how you pronounce the name. That is a pretty card. I like the pink in it. I know you guys can't really see the pink very well or the shiny but you know there you go um if you don't want to pause the video just to look at uh, the if you can see the there you go um attacks but that is too cool i've got two gx's out of nine packs so far now this will make pack number 10 
Um, but as you can see right there in front of me, I've got, so far I got a Lapras and a Tarth Lunaris, however you want to say the name, um, which is pretty cool. Two out of nine is not bad for, you know, two GX cards. One, two, three, four. One, two. And there we go. Off to the next card, our pack. Two. Makihita and beware. Um. Now, um. With the pre-release that we had, we had to go to, or that we went to, we had to drop two hours away just to go to it. Um, just because some of the um, places around where we live, you know, didn't really have a pre-release. And if they did, it would have only been me and my husband, and that wouldn't have been very fun. So, um, we went two hours away. We drove two hours and played with 16 people and we still got fourth or fifth, which is pretty cool because my husband, when he played, he played one basic Pokemon and 40, no, not 40, 39, um, Dark Energies. I forgot what Pokemon it was, um, but... It was to the point where he would get the card, get the basic Pokemon, and in three turns, he would win. Now, he, like I said earlier, he played and lost one game, all because he got poisoned. And it was a weakness. It was like, really? Oh my god! A... Hyper Rare or Rainbow Rare Gumshoes GX. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. That is awesome. That is very pretty. That is a very pretty card. And it's very shiny. I'm actually just going to see that right there. So I don't mess it up. Because not me. I probably would. But, well, actually I'm going to lift it up one more time. Just to show you, um the attacks if y'all you guys want to read it or if you just want to look at the very pretty colors on this rainbow card i'll stick it right there actually and then we'll go on to the next pack but i was not expecting a hyper rare or rainbow rare whatever you want to call it that is pretty awesome and like i said i had already opened some packs out of this box Got two JXs and I think a hollow or two hollows. So I'm doing I'm doing better on the second pool or second half of this box than I was the first half. Two, three, four, one, two. But that is pretty cool. Um I just hope I can go out with a bang as well on maybe a last pack. But anyway, um, two, three. Don't get but yeah, he, it was funny to watch him because me and him played one game against each other and he literally wiped the floor with me in three turns. I was like, that is so not fair. I wanted to win, and I got one hit of 30 points against him, and then he turned around and beat me. He took one prize, and then in one turn he took one prize, and in the second turn he took three. I was like, that sucks. But either way, I was fine because we got fourth and fifth, and we still, you know, we had fun with it, so.
it didn't matter as long as we had fun and that's what Pokemon is all about is having fun and enjoying the game enjoying people who also love the game as well so Corsula and Palu or Hollow. If you can see that, that's pretty cool. I'll put that to the side. And it looks like we are down to nine packs. No, sorry, seven packs. I thought I could count today. And these packs are giving me a Turn it away so you don't want to open it. Let's see. Let's go with a fighting energy. And a teeny. Cutify. Chinchu. Merle. The Skarmory. Jitterbug, Charger Bug, sorry. Charger Bug is funny. Hardy, Stanley, Paris, and <gasps> Second Leo GX. Oh, that is pretty. I'm getting some awesome pulls. Got Second Leo. And do a small close-up for the attacks if you guys want to pause the video and read it but that is awesome i am doing very good on these last like few packs i'm i have not i was not expecting this gum gum shoe or the stable i was not expecting to, to get this many gs's or you know reverse it not reverse why am I wanting to call them reverses? These, you know, awesome cards, especially that comes you or the Segula. I was really not expecting the Segula. Seguleo out of this box for any reason. Um, I'm not complaining though. Yeah, I'm loving getting these cards. You know, maybe, hopefully, I can use some of these cards, you know, in my deck. And hopefully I can go and play um, with some of these cards. So let's go on to the next pack. See if I can get something good out of this one. If I can hold them properly. Dratini and oh my gosh, a full art lily. That is oh my god, that's pretty. That is very pretty. Oh, and I did not get grab any um uh, sleeves at all, which sucks. But this is pretty full art lily. That is definitely something not that I wasn't expecting. Um why why is it that I have you know a stack of um sleeves sitting by me normally and I don't get a daggone thing and then I don't bring any sleeves with me to this video to open and I'm getting like six to seven cards that I need to be sleeping right away and it's just like really Really? Why? One, two, three, four. But hey, this is what happened. This is what I get for opening so many packs and getting this many good cards and not having anything with me. But for those who have stuck it out with me, you know, this far watching this video, thank you. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know I'm not like the best person to be watching, but hey, you are awesome for spending this much time with me and watching, you know, me opening up 20 packs and, uh, person. but I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I have. 
I am down to my last four packs. And it just so happens that with these four packs, there's two of them. They just so happen to be the same pack cards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go this way. We'll open every other one. So. And again, for those who are wondering, I do use the code card, so I'm sorry I'm not giving any of those away. Um, so if you ask in the comment section, I am going to say uh, I'm sorry, but I keep them because I play online against other people. And I'm hoping to get some, as you see in front of you, I'm hoping to get just as many good cards on there as I am here. So we will. Yeah. And again, sorry for the way um, this video is actually set up. I don't have much room to be working with today just because, you know, we're trying to move some stuff around. And so, therefore, I'm having to use what little space I have to open the chats up and show you some, as you can see, awesome pulls. Um, and I'm hoping that... You, you guys still enjoy this video as much as I have, especially seeing these lovely little shiny pools that are sitting in front of you. Um, and again, thank you for, you know, sticking with me, you know, this far. As of right now, I'm sitting at like a little over 27 minutes um, for 20 packs of Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon Base. And again, these pools I was not expecting, but they are still awesome nonetheless. Now that's my favorite um starter out of Sun and Moon is Linton because I love fire. Um, I've probably mentioned that several times in my previous videos, which you guys should go and watch. Um, if you enjoy Pokemon or some one random brave that I went to, but that's a different story um but i hope you guys enjoy my last couple packs and ooh, a glaith hollow that's a very shiny card you will put that right there and i'm down to my last two packs so we'll do this one first We start out with a psychic. Carnada Zubat. So if I can hold on to the cards. Paplio. Takramaru. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Shelter. Kelkta. Experience share. A lovely radicade. Okay, so down to my very last pack of Sun and Moon. And let's see if I can get some last pack magic and see if I can get anything. Or as you can see here, anything else good. Well, maybe I can open it. Do the pack trick of one, two, three, four, one, two. Then here we go. Energy, Nebby, 
Got a little primer. Tucking them out. Buku Muku. Rainbow Energy. Rowlet and. Oh, uh, Incineroar. Uh, but that's okay. So, I am going to show these cards off to you one last time just to show you what special cards that I've got. And I know for all of you who are hating me right now, not having them in sleeves, I hate myself because I don't have any sleeves right here with me. Or at least not in uh, reach. So we got the Gallus, Polyrath, Lily, Segaleo, uh, Lantris, Gumshoe, and Lapras. So, oh, I want to thank you guys one more time for sticking with me for a little over 30 minutes for watching this video, watching all these great pulls that I did. Um, again, if you enjoyed this video, please, um, hit that like button and give me some comments down below and also subscribe if you're new. I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a wonderful night. Later.